whatever it might be. Let's try that repeater again from here. We're right by a Peebles and Tractor Supply Co. So it should be about three miles or so from it. KC1CWP monitoring. And I was with this too. They got the state police. They got a lot of KC1CWP, I kind of missed the end of your call sign there. I heard a Tango Lima. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, Brian, my name's Dave. I'm over in Winstead on 44. Uh, just a question, how's my signal coming out? I'm trying out a new Baofeng. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Your signal as well is coming through strong and clear. Uh, my location currently, just so you know, I am uh, on 44 right by Route 8, about to get on Route 8. And uh, I've been testing out this repeater because, uh, I, again, I am um, testing out this new valve thing, the UV8HX, trying to see the, uh, it's got three powers, so trying to see one watt, four watt, and eight watts, and seems like, uh, you know, it does make a difference. And uh, glad to see my signals coming through good. This is a great radio. Um, a little bit north of you, I'm at the uh, intersection of 820 at uh, Riverwalk Condos. I can feel a hard time getting it. Ramo, I'm in uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, a lot of time, but it's not time to You were a little bit staticky there. But I kind of heard your message, and uh, I'm, I couldn't really get what you were saying. I know you were saying that your signal was a little staticky, if you could repeat that. Yeah, I usually have a hard time getting into this machine, because uh, I'm on an HK, I'm in Riverwalk Condo, so uh, I don't have much of an antenna on the KC1CWP. Yeah, I'm also using just the rubber duck, and your signal was a little better there. I think it was, I was next to a semi truck turning onto the highway. Um, yeah, I'm using the rubber duck too. I'm actually surprised it's doing so well inside my car. I know I might end up losing you here as I get closer to Torrington, but this repeater, I'm surprised. Usually there's no one on it. A lot of people try to, I guess, center around the repeaters down in Torrington or Terryville. This one in Winstead is usually uh, pretty quiet. Yeah, unfortunately, my location is not known to be pretty quiet, what happens for the skyboard or the Okay, yeah, I know I live up uh, off of Old Route 8, and uh, I can get the Aries net pretty good, and pretty much most places in Winstead, I can get to this repeater fairly easily on one watt, but, um, you know, it's, uh, I do Skywarn, so maybe, I mean, I might end up losing here again, but like I said, maybe if you're on this repeater more often, I'll be able to contact you other times. I'm a, a Skywarn spotter, so uh, you might be able to hear me during storms. Yeah, it's normally uh, the first Wednesday, but there's something going on this Wednesday. 
so we postponed it till next Wednesday, but the guys are more than welcome to stop in. I gotta jump on and just figure that out to you guys. This is W1 ECR. Stepping out. KC1CWP, uh, Whiskey 1 IE, I forget his uh, call sign. Yeah, I was actually going to go to your meeting this Wednesday, so I'm glad it's uh, postponed. And I will be attending next Wednesday, though. You will see me there. I'm going to be clear down uh, by Torrington, KC1CWP, clear. I am feeling up here by the uh, unit to see if it's warming up. It's barely lukewarm. Okay, but um, as you can see, that little uh, rag chew, I guess, not very, uh, not very bad. And again, I was I was on high power. Okay, that's eight watts on VHF, um, and uh, not bad. Okay, um, today it's interesting how the video turned into something completely different from what I was going to do. Uh, I'm actually probably going to edit a lot of the beginning out, but uh, if you um, if you watch this video, thank you for watching. I'm going to turn this off for now just because I'm getting into Torrington and uh, I'm just not going to use it. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. God bless America and have a great day.